My passion for making chocolates and bonbons and working with honey started probably when I was young. My mom was a chef and food was an important part of my life for as long as I can remember. But my history really begins in art. To me, art is such a valuable part of life. In order to open our minds to our own capacities, and I think good food is able to do that because taste is a very sensual experience and opens your heart and your mind, your capacity to see things in a new way. One of the lines that I really love is, from small things proceedeth that which is great. The artistry of chocolate is just as important as the flavor of the bonbons. It requires this idea of being responsive to the chocolate, and the chocolate is very responsive to the elements and also to the energy of the environment. And so I look at each bonbon as, as a piece of art. It's art that you're, you're able to consume and art that you experience first visually. And so once a flavor is developed, then I try to think about, well, how could I complement that flavor with ingredients, with colors, with shapes? and they will take you on a, a sensory adventure. And I do put a lot of thought into it for that reason. This year we had 25 beehives that we kept in different sites around the cities and all of our hives are on rooftops. I wanted it to be easy, I wanted it to be local, I wanted the honey that we collected to be a real taste of St. Paul and, and of this place. This is um, time of year we call extracting and so we're pulling off these supers and the way that we do that is we go through each frame that's in there and brush the bees, invite them to leave and then we put the, the super free of bees into the box. I have to light up the smoker, keep the bees distracted for a little while. These are pine needles across the street and they like this kind of smoke. It's a nice smoke. Now I've got a nice hot fire. And when I close it up, it makes some nice smoke. Pretty, right? So I'm going to take a look in this hive right here. Super is a shallower box where the bees bring in nectar to turn into honey. They go leave the hive um, in the morning when the flowers are at their peak, and they go and visit those flowers and collect nectar and pollen. That nectar goes inside of a pouch in their body and transferred into the hive and up into these cells where it's stored for food. Mmm, that is so good. One of the great things about bees is that most of the bees are female and then about 10% males. And so one of the things that we learn about bees as women is um, that we, we can be independent and helping each other at the same time. It's not a hierarchy and it, it's obvious uh, when you look inside of a hive how that unity strengthens the hive as a whole. And I, and I felt like that was a good way for us as women to to learn, you know, to, to be inspired by and to learn from, that we can really empower one another by uniting together. They're, they're all working hard their whole lives in order to help accomplish that, which is very inspiring. Bees deserve all the credit that they can get. They actually pollinate about a third of all the food that we eat. So without bees, much of the food that we love would not exist. 
And so for me, a world without bees would be just flat. So once the bees are um, done foraging for the summer, we call it the nectar flow. And so we remove the boxes, which we call supers, and bring them into our shop. Each one of those supers holds 10 frames, and each one of those frames is capped. These are all the wax cappings that you saw in there. Every one of these is a little wax covering over the hexagon cell, but watch this. You'll see lots of this. This knife is hot. It's melting that wax right off. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so I'm going to bring this to the machine. This is a centrifuge, so um, we're going to put in three frames all together and then spin it with a crank and that centrifugal force will pull the honey out of those cells that are now open. It'll collect at the bottom of the barrel, we'll open the gate and uh, Fill this bucket it needs a filter on it still. Honey is a substance that is so remarkable in so many ways. It's delicious. It has you know some wonderful flavors, but it also benefits our neurological system. It helps to heal wounds and burns in miraculous ways. Honey is the only food on the planet that never spoils. And so to me, that's, that's a sign or a symbol of, of its benefit, of its vastness. I always say that it's an homage to the bees, but I think the legacy that I would like to leave by doing what I'm doing is that we all have talents and abilities and gifts to offer. And None of those things can be reproduced by anybody else. The bees are doing so, you know, in small ways to begin with, but in grand ways in terms of humanity. And, and so, you know, I'm making something that fits in the life that I've lived. And, and I know that each one of us has a great story that we can use as a as a tool to create a legacy for those that come behind us and do all that we can to live our lives, to become the best that we can be, and to support others in that same effort.